the name of Allah, the most merciful and the especially merciful. With you, Mr. Said Salama, a teacher of English, a senior teacher of English, working for Al Kafrawi official language schools in New Damietta. Today, inshallah, we are going to deal with a grammar lesson which is well or going to. Space 18 next Monday. I going to 18 next Monday. I will be 18 next Monday. Take your time and tell me why. Yes, I will be 18 next Monday. Why? Because we use will to talk about facts or things that we believe that are true so inshallah i will be 18 next monday this is something true this is a fact about my age so when you talk about ages this is something or this is a fact so when you talk about future facts it's better to use will be the next I space probably be away for a week this summer take your time think carefully yes the correct answer is I will I will probably be away for a week this summer why because Use will when you are uncertain. I am uncertain or I am not sure about something. So the word probably, when you say probably, this means that you are uncertain. You are not sure. So if you are not sure about something, if you are uncertain about something, it's better to say will. Don't use I am going to. The next one. There is a new movie on TV tonight. Yes, I know, I know. I space to watch it. I will watch it or I'm going to watch it. Which one is correct? Take your time and then decide your answer. There is a movie, there is a new movie on TV tonight. Yes, I know. I know. The correct answer is I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch. Why have I chosen I'm going to watch? Why? Because we use going to to talk about a planned activity in the future. In this example, he said I know. I know means that he planned for this activity. So when you talk about something you planned, when you talk about a planned activity, it's better to use going to not will. Because you planned. I know. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. This means that he has planned for it. The next. What would you like to drink, sir? Letter B said. Mm, uh, have a glass of milk, please. I will have a glass of milk, please. Why? Why did I say I will have a glass of milk? Because we use will when we decide to do something at the time of speaking. The speaker decided now. He decided now. So when you decide something at the time of speaking, use will. For example, a teacher asked the students, where is Ahmed? One of the students said, Ahmed is in hospital. The teacher said, oh my God, 
he is in hospital I will visit him right now so the teacher has just decided right now so we use will when we decide to do something at the time of speaking the next <coughs> <coughs> She is standing at the edge of the cliff. She is standing at the edge of the cliff. She, space, fall. Can you say she will fall? Or she is going to fall. I'm sorry, she is going to fall. Yes, she is going to fall. Why? Why? Because we use going to for prediction in the near future this is in the near future the speaker is sure because there are signs about it this is a clear evidence because she is standing at the edge of the cliff someone is standing at the edge of the cliff so this is something this is a prediction in the near future because the speaker is sure and there are signs about this is a clear evidence letter a what's the matter with you i feel terrible i think i space be ill i feel terrible i think i'll be ill i think i'm going to be ill which one is correct my friends think carefully which one yes correct i'm going to be ill i think i'm going to be ill because he said i feel terrible i feel terrible why when he said i feel terrible I feel terrible this means that he is talking about the signs this is these are signs that he is very ill these are signs I feel terrible so we use going to for predictions in the near future the speaker is sure the speaker is certain because there are signs about it signs the next how is he doctor the father is asking the doctor about his son's case the doctor told him don't worry how is my son the doctor said don't worry he get better are you going to say he will get better or he is going to get better is I'm sorry it's not am it's is he is going to get better which one is correct yes he will get better why we use will for predictions in the remote future الدكتور بيقول له ما تقلقش ان شاء الله هيبقى قريب يعني هيبقى صحته كويسه فده تنبؤ بس تنبؤ ان ذا نير فيوتشر او ان ذا ريموت فيوتشر على المستوى نو البعيد هيبقى كويس وان داي ان ذا ريموت فيوتشر لكن لو بنتكلم ان ذا نير فيوتشر في المستقبل القريب خلي بالك هتقع يبقى ده اسمه نير فيوتشر او مول جوينج تو لكن ان شاء الله هيبقى كويس دونت وري he will get better because I'm not talking about the near future al mustaqbal al qareeb but in this example I'm talking about the remote future al mustaqbal al ba'id لذلك خلاص الكلام when you talk about something in the near future al mustaqbal al qareeb it's better to say going to but if you are talking about something in the remote or the far future it's better to say will the next <coughs> the bridge is not safe the bridge is not so safe 
the bridge is not so safe. Yes, one day, few minutes again, it break down. Hayo, hainhar. It will break down because I am talking about the remote future, al mustaqbal, al baid, wa leis al qarib. One day, the معناه إن المستقبل قدام في المستقبل إن شاء الله قدام يبقى من الفرو اللي بين going to will going to is used when we talk about something in the near future مستقبل قريب خلي بالك التوقع خلي بالك السقف هيقع فوق دماغك خلي بالك تبانها ورسك دي حاجات اسمها in the near future لكن when you talk about something in the remote or far future it's better to say, well, one day it will break down. <coughs> so we use will for predictions <coughs> in the remote future. The next, you shut the door, please. Will you shut the door, please? Are you going to shut the door, please? Think carefully, my friends, my students, my dear students. You shut the door, please. Will you shut the door, please? Are you going to shut the door, please? Which one is correct? Yes, excellent. Will you shut the door, please? Why? Because we use will for requests. Requests for talab. Let me go. Allah samat. Or for invitations. Magadi. Da'wat. Or offers for arud. So we use will for requests or invitations or offers. Will you open the window, please? Will you give me a glass of water, please? This is a request. So you, we, when you talk about a request or some kind of invitation or a piece of or some or a sort of over, so it's better to say, well, not going to. <coughs> Ah, I think it's repeated. Will you shut the door, please? We use will for requests, invitations, and offers. Come to the cinema with me. Will you come to the cinema with me? Are you going to come with me to the cinema? Or are you going to come to the cinema with me? Which one is correct? And tell me why. Why is it correct? Will you come to the cinema with me? Are you going to come to the cinema with me? Which one is correct? Think carefully, my students. Yes. Will you come to the cinema with me? Why? Because as I have mentioned before, we use will for requests and for invitations and offers. This is a kind of invitation. Will you come to the cinema with me? So in this example, one invites another one. A person invites his friend to come with him to the cinema. So this is a kind of invitation so when you invite someone to do something it's better to say well don't use are you going to because this is a kind of invitation so will you come to the cinema with me so this is an invitation so use will the next one <coughs> That bag looks very heavy. I space help you. That bag looks very heavy. I will help you or I am going to help you. Remember that we said we use will for requests, for invitations and for offer. When you over 
when you offer to help someone so in this example one is offering to help another one a person is offering to help another person so this is a kind of an offer so which one is correct yes well I will help you I will help you because we use will for requests for invitations and for offers the next one perhaps they space support you in the election perhaps they space support you in the election perhaps they will support you in the election or they are going to support you in the election yes going to is a correct answer no no the correct answer is will I'm sorry the correct answer is will so this is not correct so perhaps they will support you in the election will is the correct answer it's not going to why because we use will with adverbs like perhaps like probably like certainly so remember these three words are used with will because you are talking about something you are not certain about you are talking about something you are not sure about you are not sure of so probably and perhaps probably perhaps and certainly these are adverbs that are used with will so perhaps they will not going to they will support you in the election the next one I believe he space pass the exam I believe he will pass the exam I believe he's going to pass the exam take your time take your time and feel carefully yes let us see the correct answer I believe he will pass the exam is the correct answer why because we generally use will for prediction with the following verbs and phrases believe I believe he will pass the exam I expect he will pass the exam I hope he will pass the exam I think he will pass the exam I wonder if he will pass the exam I'm sure he will pass the exam I'm I'm afraid he will not pass the exam so with these phrases such as believe expect hope wonder I'm sure I'm afraid it's better to say I will or I believe he will pass the exam the next mr. side space go probably go to London next year Mr. Said will probably go to London next year. He is going to probably go to London next year. Which one is correct and why? Take your time. yes the correct answer is will mr. said will probably go will probably go to London next year why because we use will with adverbs such as perhaps probably and certainly 
Remember these three words, perhaps, probably, and certainly. Because we are talking about something that we are not sure about. The next I space stop going to the casino I will stop going there I am How is going to? Which one is correct? Think carefully Yes. I will stop going to the casino because we use will to express a promise not going to. Why? In this situation or in this example, uh, someone gives a promise or promises someone else that he will never do that again i will never do that again so this is a kind or this is a sort of a problem so we know oh, a sort of a promise so when you promise someone to do or not to do something it's better to say i promise i will or i will stop going to the casino so you are talking about a promise the next one stop talking stop talking will you or are you going to which one is correct take your time Yes, the correct answer is will you. Why? Because we use will in a question tag. This is a question tag. Stop talking after imperative. أصل بكلمة imperative مع الجملة الأمرية. مع الجملة الأمرية بنعمل question tag. الأفضل نقول will you. Stop talking. Will you? Do your exercise. Will you? Do your homework will you so this is a question tag so we use will in question tags after imperative imperative yes the next stop talking after imperative sorry you pay a fine asif Which one is correct? Sorry, you space pay a fine. Which one is correct? Which one is correct? Sorry, you have to pay a fine. You will have to pay a fine. Which what? Why? Why? Because we use will to express an action in necessity in the future. So when you express necessity in the future, حاجة أنت هتضطر تعملها. As معلش هتضطر إن دفع غرام. نتكلم عن necessity ضرورة in the future. So when you talk about necessity in the future. Don't use going to, but it's better to say, Well, sorry, you have to pay a fine. As if ma'alish, Because I'm talking about an action in necessity, something which is necessary. When you talk about something that, something which is necessary, you are it's necessary for you to do in the future. So it's better to say, You will have to pay a fine. So will have is better than. 
The next one, study hard or use base fail. So study hard or you will fail. Why? ذاكر وإلا هتسقط. Because this is a threat. تهديد. بهدده. هتذاكر وإلا هتسقط. تهديد. Study hard or you will fail. Don't worry, I'm sure you space them again. Don't worry, I'm sure you space them again. ما تلاش أنا متأكد إنك هتقبلهم. The correct answer is we'll see. Why? As we have said, we use will plus the infinitive when we talk about something that will happen in the remote future. المستقبل البعيد على المدى البعيد ما تقلقش انا متاكد انك هتشوفهم امتى الله اعلم يبقى we are talking about the, the remote or the far uh, future so we'll see them don't worry I'm sure you will see them because I'm talking about something that will happen in the remote future على المدى البعيد عشان كلمة هتقابلهم one day. I space hire a car to travel around Alexandria. This is my intention. As I told you before, we use will, we use will plus the infinitive when we talk about something you have just decided now. But we use going to when you talk about the land activity يعني the land حاجة متخطط لها دي حاجة متخطط لها عرفنا منين بيقول this is my intention so this is something you have planned so this is a planned activity something you have decided before now so this is not a quick decision so I hire a car to travel around Alexandria this is my intention. Which one is correct? Yes, that's correct. I'm going to hire a car to travel around Alexandria. This is my intention because I'm talking about something that will, uh, or something I have already planned. I have already planned. وانا عرفت منين من كلمة this is my intention in the future every book space as an a book في المستقبل عنه مستقبل الله أعلم خلي بالك I'm not talking about the near future مش بتكلم عن المستقبل القريب أنا بتكلم عن المستقبل البعيد Which one is correct? In the future, every book is based as an e-book. Take your time, my dear students. Take your time. Yes. Yes. Will be published. Why? Because you are talking about the book. So the book is not the doer of the action. الكتاب مش هو اللي هينشر نفسه. The book is an object. وطالما هي is an object, so it's a passive form. Will be published. Will be published. Yes, the next. May cannot help you tonight. She's based on a science project. 
think carefully may cannot help you tonight she's based on a science project remember that we are talking about something that will happen in the future and we can use the present continuous tense to express a future meaning if there is a kind of arrangement so may have arranged everything so she apologizes because she cannot help you tonight so this is something arranged this is a kind of arrangement so the correct answer is yes is working so we use the present continuous tense to express a future meaning when we are talking about something we have arranged so may cannot help you tonight she's she's working on a science project the next these are my plans for the next or for the summer holidays first of all i space to alex so remember i'm talking about blends this is something i have blend before this is something i'm certain about i'm sure so which one is correct blends remember this word blends some this is a blend activity so which one is correct i am going to go these are my plans for the next holidays first of all i am going to go to alex the next thank you very much see you next week inshallah